I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. Welcome in this new studio vlog. Today, follow me paint in my sketchbook, receive some new holographic stickers and paint some clay pins. To warm up, I wanted to paint something simple in my sketchbook. I did a quick sketch of some loose shapes. Then I picked four pastel colors that I will use in this painting. I'm protecting the sides of my painting with some washi tape to avoid tear off the corners of my sketchbook pages when I remove the masking tape. I'm cutting it in two to leave some space between the masking tape and the edges of the page. I selected the four colors of my color palette in my Albain Acrylic gouache. But the pink is too flashy, so I have to mix it with some white to make it more pastel. I'm starting my painting by blocking the colors and choosing where each color is going. And then I just have to fill the shapes. I'm usually trying to go from the lightest color to the darkest one. It allows me to correct my errors as I go and Correct a light color mistake with a dark one is quite easy, the opposite can be tricky. And the best part is a moment to remove the washi tape. I feel like the pink is still too flashy because it makes the yellow and the purple look a bit off, but I'm quite happy with the result. I like a lot doing this exercise because it's easy to paint and it's helping me to train my color skills. Then I received the new holographic stickers that I made with Sticker Mule. It's an adaptation of the UFO that I painted with gouache for Inktober and I made it shiny. I'm displaying them on the table because I need to take some photos for Instagram. I love holographic stickers, they are so fun to make and they are also so cute. They will be available soon on my online shop. It's clay pins time! A few days ago I made these tiny pins but I didn't film the process and today it's time to paint them. I was a bit more confident with clay so I tried some new shapes and it turned out pretty nice. So I have plenty of new things to try out. I previously did a first white layer of acrylic paint and today I selected four acrylic colors to paint them. My favorite one as usual, so it's a light blue, almost turquoise, a purple, a pink and a yellow. I also added some magenta to the pink to obtain some shades of a more vibrant pink. And I used white to do some lighter shades of my colors. I'm using acrylic instead of gouache because I will apply some UV resin later and the gouache paint can move. Once dry, the acrylic paint won't move even if I'm putting some water on it. 
I quickly sketched a few lines on my pins to help me while I paint. When I'm using a color, I'm trying to do every pieces that need this color to avoid cleaning my brush all the time. Painting the pins is a bit complicated because they are so tiny, but at the same time it's super satisfying and I love to create them. I am really happy because I feel like they look a lot better than the first ones and they are not perfect but they are super cute and unmade. And this is the result so far. They are not finished yet because they will need some details added with Posca pen and I will also apply some UV resin to make them be super shiny. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for keeping me company while I was creating them. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!